So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to figure out what career you want to do in our cup of tea, obviously. But would I be without tea or a drink of some sort in these videos? So, I'm going to be doing a video on how to figure out what career you want to do. This is sort of aimed at anybody that's sort of not really sure what they want to do, but sort of wants to figure out what they want to do, or has got to that point where they want to figure out what they want to do or they're like don't want to go into or they're doing a degree that's like humanities or something like that or they don't want to go into an internship because that will be the route they have to take basically so it's based at anybody really Basically, I'm going to give a bit of background knowledge. I have always been like good at photography, like that's always sort of. So I originally thought I want to be a photographer, like my sister, maybe carry on dad's business, maybe. Well, not quite that until he mentioned it, really, but I always thought I'll be a photographer. Because at my young age, I assume that because I like photography and I'm good at it, that it would be the career for me to go into. Someone who likes photography. And that is so wrong, like, there's so many different careers you can go into that's not being a photographer. Then I wanted to be an estate agent, and this is because... You will see why, because I will go through some of my strengths in a minute, because I will be talking a bit about them. I then wanted a career in dance, like to get better at dance and then be a dancer. Then I realised I was good at singing, dancing and acting, and people told me I was good, and then my drama teacher said I could get a degree in acting. So I thought, I'm going to do it, I'm going to get a degree. <laughs> Whether I use that degree or not is a different story, but I do want to get a degree. So I thought, I'm good at acting, I'm good at singing, even though I do lack some kind of confidence in singing. I can do a little bit of dance. I like just talking to the camera because I do YouTube. I can learn lines quickly, I'm reliable to learn lines. And turn up to rehearsals I'm focused when I'm doing my acting I'm academic, good at maths and English I have GCSEs but figure out what qualifications you have you could have you can get more qualifications list your passions I'm passionate about acting singing, kind of dancing but I don't do like loads of it anymore like I'm a bit out of it now And I'm not the best, and I can't do much act, I can only really do cartwheel and stand at a push. I'm passionate about maths and English. I've been drawn to YouTube, not like that. I'm the best at editing, like my videos are not the best edited. Acting, learning lines, just wanting to improve, gain confidence in singing and dancing. I like talking to a camera, sharing my opinions on stuff I'm passionate about, like revision videos and stuff like that. For me, getting up to learn a new script, you want to sort of do things that want to get you up in the morning, like a job that you're really going to enjoy. For me, sort of getting up and learning new lines, learning new acting skills, grinding confidence in performing arts, learning choreography and getting better at learning choreography. Some slightly weak point in dance is learning choreography. I'm better at freestyle. Growing in my ability to sing different notes easier. Get some. I was gonna. Another tip is get work experience. I was meant to be getting work experience in year 11 because that's what my school does work experience at the end of year 11. So I was gonna explore that a bit more. So. I understand I'm really lucky to have 
be going to Lewis College and Lewis College has industry professionals like they've been in that industry that you want to go into so I'm really lucky to have that but get networking like talk to anybody on social media that does your career someone apparently cool apparently films their day in the life at the BBC on TikTok that's what I've heard so just get just get immersed like watch stuff on YouTube research on websites I've looked, literally I've looked at performing arts jobs online and found out a few more jobs. Experience it boosts your CV, shows you've tried different things out and also helps you realise what you don't want to do because there's no point thinking you want to go into like... Mm, let me think... Engineering, you pay all that money and then you don't like it and feel like you can't leave because you've paid all that money so find stuff out about jobs get rid of all these limits I should go to uni at 18 I should be in college two years I should learn to drive at 17 all these different shits so I should be in finished uni by 22 all those different ones I should you can go into stuff a lot later than you think you can and once you get rid of all the shoulds all the things will open up like at the end of the day you need to pick a job you enjoy like there's no point doing a job you don't enjoy and also you can come into stuff later like even if you've done like the work experience and if it's different to what you end up going into, it does boost your CV so much. Like, just get immersed. Like, I did research in school about different jobs, and I found out, even though I've always known what I wanted to do from, like, year eight, By all no means this is set in stone, like this could change, so I really hope you do enjoy this video. I know I've repeated myself and it's a bit mismatch, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, new videos. Bye.